What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Ram Detecting. If you're new here, my name's Mark, and uh, we do a lot of Civil War relic hunting on this channel. But I also like to help out new people, so I've got a lot of videos on that. We do other stuff too, but today we're out with the uh, the main man, the T2 technician right there, uh, Mr. Fred. And uh, we're gonna get out here and see if we can find some Civil War relics. Uh, so we're gonna get out there and see if we can find anything for them. And then later we might see a special appearance by old Pop. I think we're gonna maybe hit up a new uh, little spot me and him's been uh, kinda uh, checking out. We found a few things out there. So I think uh, me and Fred's gonna head over there in a little bit and visit with him. Uh, Cause he really needs to get out some more. And you got, I know you guys uh, enjoy seeing him on the channel. So let's get out here and we'll see at the first hole. All right, by the way, I'm using the F70 again today. Uh, I'm going to try to challenge myself to dig some more questionable targets today instead of just that bullet tone because, you know, if you watched last time's video, we found a bunch of uh, odds and ends out here. So we're going to try that. Uh, I think Fred's already got a bullet or so. And I had a, a squeaker right here in it. I think I see some white showing. Look at that. It might be a pistol ball. No, it's a bullet. Oh, man. Looks like we got a... Might have been a sharps there. Check that out. Sweet. All right. The T2 master over here. He's, uh... He's... He's... Said he's on one. There it is. Oh. Sweet. Nice, good old three ringer from the American Civil War. Sweet. Well, Fred had a uh, a pretty good signal over there, but he said he, it sounds a little off. Uh, so he wasn't sure if it's a bullet or not, but he dug it anyway. It wound up being a Williams cleaner. And uh, those things have a zinc base, so that was what was throwing it off. I had a, uh, it was in the 30s, 35, 40 on the uh, F70 here. Uh, I don't think it's a bullet, but I wanted to dig it just to see what it could be. It might just be a piece of trash, but you never know out here at this field. I don't see nothing yet. Yeah, I feel some aluminum. Well, there you go. Now we know what that signal is. <laughs> well, I was over there experimenting with some settings on the uh, F-70. Uh, so uh fred called me said i think i got another bullet oh i see it right there check it out another three ringer <laughs> sweet well me and fred's getting some crazy signals today i had a this was jumping around a lot off from the 80s down to the 30s i thought i'm gonna recheck the hole because there might be something iron in there bringing it down because it had an iron grunt to it but check this out there's a bullet right there. I don't know what this is, if it's modern, more modern or if it is Civil War. It looks Civil War. I haven't, I haven't ever dug one like that. You guys know, leave it in the comments. I don't see any uh, indications that it's a modern bullet. So uh, I'll do some research on that, but sweet. All right, Fred had a signal over there he's working on. I had one here, it sounded kind of deep, and I guess it kind of is. It's looks like it's about eight inches down there. I got one right there. Three ringer. Sweet. All righty, I think uh, Fred and I might be on a little hot spot here. We've done dug two or three. Uh, I just dug one over there. I don't know if I got you guys out for it. Had another signal here. Not exactly bleeping in that in that bullet range but like i said at the beginning of the video i wanted to dig more questionable stuff now and it is a bullet right there three ringer sweet all right i want to give a big shout out to my uh, buddy chris over there at tobacco road relics thanks for the hat buddy go over there and check them out uh, i'll try to leave a link down below uh f70s uh i've been playing around with it um if you run an F70, try this. Run the threshold all the way up eight or nine and bring your sensitivity down around 30. I'm, I'm seeing a sweet spot from around 35 to 40-ish. 
I've got it jacked up to about 45 right now. I'm just playing with something and it makes it a little erratic. But I had a good signal here and uh, check it out. Yeah, so right here, I think we got another bullet, guys. Check her out. Yeah, it's a nice three ringer right there. Doesn't have a lot of disc or plow marks on it, so sweet. Man, I had a sweet sound. I lowered the threshold to eight and I think I've got the uh, sensitivity on 38. Quiet the machine down a lot. And I had a sweet signal. I just wanted to pull this out to compare these two. Okay, on the left here is a regular 58 caliber uh, mini ball. And on the right, I think that's probably like a 54 caliber. It's been fired. I can see the rifling on it there. But look how much taller that thing is. Just a tall boy, just crazy. I found them like that pretty often out here. So I, I, I just always wondered why they were that much taller. But anyway, sweet. All right, we're still working back towards the truck. Got another uh, signal here. It's hitting in the 40s. I thought it might be a pistol bullet, but I'm gonna show you guys what I got. Oh yeah, by the way, I uh, had a couple people, again, ask about the my shades and my glasses and stuff. Uh, so uh, it's a company called Phyto. They sent me these glasses and I was actually needing some. So I reached out to them. And they say, sure, we'll work with you. So I'm going to leave a link down below if you're looking for uh, sunglasses. They make uh, polarized prescription, uh, regular glasses. Uh, if you're looking for something like that, go to, use my link. I think you'll save like 15% or something. Anyway, I'm just throwing that out to you guys. But uh, check it out what I got. I got a uh, Williams cleaner. Let me let me uh, swing, swing you over here real quick and I'll show you a better look at it. Yeah, so this is a Williams cleaner. If I can clean the base out. The base is actually made of uh, of zinc. So that was what was throwing us off a little bit. And these were placed, I think, randomly in the uh, cartridge boxes of the uh, soldiers. And what this is, was supposed to do was uh, when it was fired, it pushed this uh, zinc base up, expanded out a little bit, and cleaned the riflings and the barrel out on your gun. But I, I think uh, I've read somewhere that the uh, soldiers pretty much hated these things. So, But I, this is a pretty good example of it, and I'm happy to have it. Sweet! All right, we picked up Pop. Say hi, Pop. Hi. <laughs> uh, I know everybody missed you out on the channel. He's got the Time Ranger Pro. We're out at this field. Uh, now, last time uh, me and Dad come out here and kind of scouted it, we found uh, I found toe tap, a flower button, some some uh, star carbine bullets, and some more stuff. So we're gonna ha hit it for probably an hour or so, and uh, we'll see what we can find. I heard Pop over here beeping at something. It kind of sounded irony, but I don't know. Let's see if we can get he can get it out, and then we'll show you what he got. Well, I don't know if Pop had anything. I listened to it; didn't really sound like it. Fred said, I got a bullet, so at least we're not getting stunk, skunked. Sweet. All right, Pop. I heard, I heard the Time Ranger Pro, that familiar squeak all the way from over there. And I said, that sounds good, Pop. And I said, what are the numbers? He said, it's in the 70s. So hopefully he's got a bullet. I'm gonna let him dig his plug and then we'll uh, see right, what he's got. I think he's found it. Uh, I, and I think it might be a part of a bullet. Go ahead, pick her up, Pop. See something right there. Yeah, you got it. Yeah. yeah, that's like it looks like a fired, fired bullet or something. Smack piece of smack piece of lead. Yeah. Yep. I think you got something. Looks like you're not skunked. I found a couple pieces of a uh, little camp lead. So we're gonna swing around here a few, a few more times. Maybe we're on a little spot. Right, we've been at it for a little while. Fred's done really good. I don't know how many bullets he's got. Four or five. Uh, I, I found a bunch of camp lead, maybe one fire pistol bullet. Dad found uh, a fired modern in that one. Uh, behind me, I just dug, I think maybe like a tent grommet. And then I had another signal right here. And check it out, I think we got a, a pistol bullet. Yep, that's exactly what it is. Sweet, Colt pistol from the Civil War. Nice. All right, I had a pretty awesome signal with that F70. I mean, it sounded like a bullet, but I've dug a lot of, a lot of can slaw so far. So, and it ain't very deep. Nope, look at there. Looks like a round ball. Check it out. It is a round ball. <laughs> you know, I don't find very many of them. So I'll be. I'm happy to have it. I'm, I'm happy to have that. Sweet. Well, here's the take for the day, this field and 
the other field we was at. I'm thinking that's probably a tent grommet. Still don't know what that is yet. I'll clean it up. <laughs> and then we uh, got this nice rivet. You know, they had something similar to this, I think, on like sword hangers, but I'm not sure. Rivets could come off anything, but this is a uh, cavalry camp, so who knows. Uh, all kinds of different bullets. Got that round bullet. It's still. Mr. Fred's pile, he got a bunch of bullets. I don't know how many he got out here, but he got four or five, I think. All in all, we had a fantastic day.